All right, time for another quick video today. We're gonna keep talking about the EcoFlow uh, solar generators as they are known to many, right? Here we have the three most popular EcoFlow uh, inverters, uh, power packs or whatever, Delta Pro, the Delta Max and the Delta Mini. And all of these, you could extend the battery right not just by like the delta pro has its own battery that is like two thousand dollars to add like three and a half kilowatt hours right three and a half yeah so you could also do it with this diy battery this is another different one uh it's called an r12 uh this one is a jack 35.com it's basically a scooter battery this one is half a kilowatt and it's uh selling on our store for like 60 bucks or something this is really cheap so for about 300 dollars right i mean how wait, wait, let me do the math on that all right so i just did the math you need seven of these to equal the same amount the battery that it's available on the battery that is available from ecoflow uh three and a half kilowatts right but you can buy these instead of two thousand dollars you can buy these for sixty dollars each times seven that's like 420 dollars so the discounts are massive and let me show you how to connect it. And on all of these, I think this one is just plug and play. Okay, all three of these inverters or power packs have the same connector. It's an XT60 connector, XT60 connector, XT60 connector. And magically, our R12 battery also has an XT60 connector. So you don't need anything else. You literally just plug in this battery in there. Boom. Now you might need an extension cord to, to put this and then like other type of equipment to uh to connect more than one right so here is on the ecoflow delta pro there we go 300 400 okay and then it collapse again then it's gonna start again i think it does this so it's gonna settle around 300 watts now that battery is really small and it's light compare that to a 300 watt uh, solar panel right that's pretty big if you want to remain mobile and um you know it's a lot easier to set up a, a little battery like that you, you pre-charge somewhere and then if you need the power right instead of having a you know deploy some big solar panel now obviously the solar panel is the ultimate because it's free energy it just comes from the sun and uh you know once this battery is gone then you know you got to recharge it again but <laughs> The solar panel once the sun is out right so it's about the same i'm saying it's not the same thing but it's both has their limitations their pros and cons and stuff you know also like if you need to charge this unit at night well there's no sun so even if you have the biggest massive array solar array there, you can't do nothing so the only way you're going to do is if you have some pre-charged batteries that you can you know connect into your uh, solar port like here and then you can you know, recharge this at a rate of 300, right, if you use a single. Now, obviously, if you connect these batteries in series, it'll go higher, and I showed that in that you know, recent video that I did I, with other batteries, right, but these worked exactly the same way. So now let me show you how it works on the Delta Max. All right, for this one, I'm gonna use a uh, an extension cord here. It's just an XT60 extension cord that you can buy on Amazon, and I'm gonna disconnect this put it in here and then uh, connect it right here by the way I didn't check this battery to see what state of charge it is I just picked a random one from the pallet and I just make sure that it had power that you know there was it wasn't at zero percent but I don't know if it's like at 50 or if it's at a so here we go, this one, the Delta Max is doing about the same thing. It's settling around 310 watts of charging input. There we go. Now let's try the Delta Mini. This is by the way, my favorite inverter of all because it's really powerful. It can do like 1400 watts right load uh ac uh, and it's really small and really light yeah it doesn't have as much battery but you know for the most part i just need a little bit of battery if i really need like a lot 
then I pick, you know, the next ones right here, the big one. So this one is doing about the same. It's uh, about 300 watts. So that's the limitation, I think, on, on that voltage, whatever the battery is at right now, right? So again, you can use multiple of these. You could put 100 of these batteries and connect them in, in parallel, and they'll power these forever at 300 watts. If you split them into two groups and then connect them in, in series, now you double the voltage and you can go all the way, like on the bottom one, all the way to 1600 watts, right? And then on the Delta Max, it's gonna be a little bit different because this one, 11, what is it? 10 amps max. So this one's 10 amps, this one's 15 amps, and then this one's 10 amps. So these two will charge at the same rate. Actually, no, because this one's 75 volts DC max, and this one's 100 volts max, and then this one's 150 volts max. Yeah, so each one will charge slightly at lower speeds from the solar thing. So this is 1600, this is probably like 1000, this one's probably like 700 watts max that you can put in there in that solar port, right? All right, next, if you wanna spend the big bucks and buy 48 volt rack mount units, uh, I think these are available in 12 volts, then 24 volts, and then like 30, 30, 48 volts, right? These are 48 volts. Uh, and it will work the same way, essentially, but you will get different, slightly different results. I'm gonna show you what you will get with 48 volt rack mount units. Here we go, this one's on. You will need this cable. This is the solar charge cable that comes with the Delta Pro. I don't know if it comes with the Delta Max and the Delta Mini, because I don't remember. So if you have this, then this is, this is all you need, and you just need to make this cable, which is just a uh, ring terminal to uh, MC4. Or you, need, you, can, you can just buy it. I'll put a link on the description here to Amazon. Uh, also a link to this, because if you don't have it, then you can just order it, right? So first, I'm gonna show you on the Delta Pro. Here we go. All right, and with 48 volts, which is slightly higher than 36, then you can achieve slightly higher charging voltage, right? So 800, 825, so around 820 watts on the Delta Pro. Let's try the Delta Max. Here we go, 400. 528 okay so yeah about about 300 watts less on this one with the same voltage which is interesting uh and it's a lot quieter <laughs> you don't hear all those fans i mean not yet anyways this one in immediately as soon as you connect that thing the fans start going like crazy Okay, let's try the mini. Three hundred. Oh, that's it. On the mini, it's not gonna go higher. Oh, look at that. The mini will charge at three hundred watts at 36 volts or at 48 volts. Bumping the voltage just a little bit up. What, are, what, ex, what exactly is the voltage that we have on these? Okay, let's see here. It's the cool thing about these server racks is that you have thing, okay, 52, we're at 52 volts. And uh, the Delta Mini doesn't put in more than 300 watts. Look at that, okay. But there you go, you can, those are the voltage, those are the charging rates that you can achieve with DIY 36 volt, you know, scooter batteries, really affordable batteries, and also rack mount, really, exp I mean, these are expensive uh, because they're giant batteries, right? Um, as opposed to, uh, you know, the big boys 19 inch rack, 
server rack mounted uh, lithium batteries that are available in the market today. These are the rates at which you can charge the three main units from EcoFlow. I hope this video helps you guys answer some of those questions that you guys have. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Next video, I will try all the other brands that I have. I have uh, I have some Blue Eddy stuff, and I have some other off brands that people have sent me, like, and you know, manufacturers have sent me to test and to review. And I have several units that I can try and do the same and experiment here. So if you're interested in that stuff, stay tuned. Uh, click and like this button, the button on this video, please, because then that helps my channel get some exposure and uh, for people that have these questions to find the answers. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye.